he slurping over there. Yummy. Literally, all you can eat. Twenty-seven dollars. You get to choose between two ramens, and there's also appetizers as well. This is probably my first time ever at an all-you-can-eat ramen, so I'm really excited. Let's check it out. So for the all-you-can-eat ramen, it's twenty-seven dollars for ninety minutes. You get two choices of ramen, miso, and takatsu, and then look at all this the appetizers, guys. There's karage, oysters, takoyaki. <laughs> well, I'm all for the ramen. Let's see how many bowls I get. Alrighty, taste left in my I have the tonkatsu because as you can see, the broth is a little creamier, you know, pork bone uh, chicken broth for this one. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, let's see if I can uh, break this. Oh, I think I found a trick where you just kind of do it the center. Okay, let's try the broth. <laughs> for sure. It's very rich and creamy. The pork flavoring is not overpowering. Everything kind of just fits very well together. You can see here the broth. See? Very rich. Perfect flavoring. Grab it time. Let's do the noodle push. Wow. A little bit of broth, a little bit of noodles. That's how I like to put or plate my noodles, I guess. Very elegant. Don't forget your one ear. Oh my god, this is my one favorite topping for ramen. What ear? Look hot. <laughs> Noodle? Wow. Let me try the kakumi. Oh, not kakumi. Look at this thick piece of chashu. Okay. Taste this. That's very good. Very soft, actually. I don't know, can it be like pulling up like. That feeling where it like pulls off the bone, it's kind of but it, it also reminds me of that one Vietnamese dish, the ka. This is, yeah. Mm. This is the miso ramen. Let's check out the broth. That's corn, um, bean sprouts. Oh, it's a different type of ramen noodle. Go check this out. Check this out, guys. Paris is a little bit more thick, 
Mine's thinner. Or is it just me? What do you think, Knockstar? <laughs> think it's the same? I think it's the same. Oh, okay. It's just maybe the broth is a little darker. The miso, the miso broth. Alright, let's try the miso broth. Let's try this. It's rich, garlicky. I like that. Oh, it's very good. Alright, noodle. Let's try it. Let's see how many blows we could do. <laughs> but it's all, it's all good. I'll give it 9 out of 10. Ooh. Everything's great. Now let's try the pork. It's thick cut. It's not like your chash, your regular chassis where it's thin sliced. This is like thick, thick. Mmm. I put it on my lips. So tender. Mmm. Actually, not chashu. It's kaku, kaku meat. It's braised pork. Makes sense. Mm, that's good pork. But this two two ramen and like unlimited appetizers, that's already worth it for $27. Yeah. I'll come back for sure. First bowl done. Let me try one of the appetizers. It's just the chicken karate. Get up. So I'm gonna put lime on top. Maybe Noxar doesn't like lime, so I'm only gonna put on the one. Alright, let's go ahead and try this. Check this out. There's a little, there's already a, a pukey dip already. Oh my. Mmm. The chicken they cut is like fatty. It's like lower, lower, the darker meat. So like the thigh. So it's like fatty and it's like juicy. The lower, the lower body. We're thinking about Jim. <laughs> but it's crunchy too. I don't mean. So good. Now I'm not being a man. <laughs> lower body, huh? Leg day? She's slurping over there. Yummy. Did it Oh, what day? Um, let's try the takoyaki. One of my favorite appetizers, whatever, like in a Japanese restaurant or anywhere in general. Should I put the whole thing in my mouth? Um, it might be hot, but whatever. You had the um, QP, bonito flakes, onion, and the kamoyaki uh, sauce. It has the a slight charry taste to it. Slightly. Yeah. There's a taco in there. I taste it. I like it. This is a fried oyster. I'm not sure if I ever had a fried oyster. Um, I think this might be tata -ta sauce. Tata. Tartar. Tata. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not sure if I taste the oysters. <laughs> I mean, the it's an oyster, but I think it's the coating kind of overpowers the true taste to it. But it's still good. I don't like it. I'm gonna order it again. Mm. Oh. Actually, I recommend putting the whole thing because. The flavor of the oyster comes at the end. I just tasted it right now. Next is the katsu, guys. Let's try the middle part. Maybe that's the juiciest part. Check it out. Wow. All right, here we go. Let's try this. That's so good. That on, with rice. <laughs> It's, it's, it's the all you need. It's the all you need? It's the all you need. That's the all you can eat. I like the sauce they put on top. Uh, maybe it's teriyaki sauce. What is it? Katsu sauce. 
I like the sauce they put on top, the katsu sauce. A little tender and sweet. Good. Definitely get it again. Must guess. So these are shrimp tempura. It's actually tempura. You see, it's tempura. There's a lot of places that just kind of like weekly tempura, then tempura. Shoot. Okay, let me hold it right here. The batter on this one is really good. If you like shrimp, it has to be one of the, the most, like, the best one to temper, in my opinion. It's good, very good. Cheers. Alright, let's try this tonkatsu ramen. By the way, they have more ramen, like spicy tonkatsu and etc etc but for the ace it's only two miso and tonkatsu so bowl number two let's try the one there's the spoon for me the, look, the appearance creamy frothy hopefully quirky You know everything I said it was creamy, quirky. It's everything. Plus, this is so good. This is certified busted. Oh my god. Let's try this noodle. The noodles. It's certified bust. Alright. Mm. Mm. That's so busting to me. And like, you know it's Christmas time, so we're like busting through the snow. Oh my god. But the broth, also I want to say that there's a smoky taste to it, which is like which I love. Oh, this over miso all the time, but I wanted to try the miso first because Nox are already picked. Ladies first. Start over So JSR have been stealing all of my lingos. Bossing thorn, bossing thorn. With the embers. But let's try the broth. So what's yours now? I can't, I can't think of anything now. Oh uh, yeah you can. I'll get back to you. Okay. Let's try the broth. I can't tell the flavor. Why am I British now? I can't tell with the flavor. Hold on. Honestly, it's cake. It's peppery. That's what it is. Peppery, miso wheat. <laughs> Show you wheat, you know? But the, the, um, the pepper is very strong in this one. Very good. It's like a stewy. It's more like a stewy ramen than a ramen ramen. You know? Like, like not a typical miso ramen. A stewy miso. It's good still. I feel like if this was like a dry ramen, it would be pretty um, bustle mania. Oh, bustle mania. That's a good one. I think it's hot. Oh, uh, yeah, careful. Mm. This one, the noodles, actually soaks up a lot of the broth in the miso because this is technically a miso kakuni, which is the braised pork. I believe they do have like uh, remnants of like pork <coughs> broth, not broth, but like pork uh, saute sauce or whatnot in there. Because you can see there's like a little uh, oil layer on it, so very rich and garlic. They're both very garlic and rich, but still good. Miso or the tonkatsu? Uh, for me right now, it's probably the miso. Cause it's like... Whoa, it's you like, like miso? Yeah, it's wow. a lighter for me for this one. Usually I like miso, but the one, the tonkatsu is a little lighter for me too. For me, I like the tonkatsu. Tonkatsu team today. Ding, ding, ding. Yaki. <clears throat> so... Uh, I'm gonna explain what's on top. I feel like yaki is like, I think it's like a fried, basically. Fried onigiri. 
<laughs> on top there's sprinkle with bonito. I think there's also mentaiko on top. Yes, there is. Mmm, that's right. I'm excited. That's okay. How are you? Yeah. Oh, it's just rice inside. It was just like stuffing. A little bit of stuffing with <clears throat> like filling. Yeah. But the outside is a little bit. It definitely, um, what is that? Work? <laughs> like they uh, swiped on the seasoning on the rice and then they yakked it. It's so good though. I wish it was filled. Next up is the tofu. This is pronounced uh, Eidashi tofu. Eidashi. Not tofu, by the way. Let me know. You guys also love tofu. Tofu. <laughs> tofu. Mm. It's really good. I love this one. It's like, you know, just swimming in the dashi broth. It's not salty, it's not overburdened, but I think it's a very common uh, appetizer, like what they eat in Jananas. Mm -hmm. All right, look. I had the mini curry. So, I see the curry sauce over rice. Not much in it, there's no protein or anything, so let's just delve into on top of the, the rice. That gravy, so good. It's, it's like peppery. Just a hint of sweetness to it, but not overpowerful. It's so good. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that. No, or the company. Put it. Oh, a little bit of ramen. Put it in the curry. And then eat it with the rice. Let's try this. Mm. No, that was the whole meal by itself right there. That's so good. That is like Boston Celtics. Um, let's. I'm just gonna exit the room now. Fried ghee yoza time. There's three pieces and they have the sauce. I want to try the sauce real quick. Mm. It's like a spicy ketchup. Try this. Eat mm. That's crunchy. It's good. I like this a lot. Actually, eating this is making me more happy. It's a good thing. We got a lot of food. So I was eating the gyoza. Mm -hmm. so this is the last gyoza. And I was like, wait. And mind you, we're full. I just started topping me eating my ramen right now. And I don't know why, but earlier he said that he was eating the gyoza and it helped him eat more. And now I'm eating the gyoza. It's helping me eat more. I don't know. Is that a placebo? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> well, what's in that gyoza, huh? Mm. Mm. It's so good. So, actually, overall experience, I want to say it's because, well, it's my first all you can eat ramen. Well, ramen and both broths are very good. I personally like the tonkatsu more because I like a lighter broth. But who needs miso one? Um, all the appetizers were really good. My favorite had to be um, the takoyaki, also um, the yaki onigiri. But it would be better if it was filled in the center. But everything was so good. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Happy holidays, and we hope to see you guys on the next food adventure. Bye. Certified bus. Okay.